Hi, um, I'm Professor Swinth. I am Chair of the History Department and a Professor of U.S. Women's and Gender History. I'm uh, teaching a brand new course for me called Race and Gender in Modern America, and I'm really excited about it. Um, I'm calling it a graduate seminar deconstructed, um, and it's coming out of my dawning awareness that my teaching philosophy has to do with letting students drive and shape the questions of any course or seminar. Um, I think it's a little harder and a little more painstaking for us to do that, but um, I think it leads in the end to deeper um, and richer learning overall. So the starting point for the class is going to be this wonderful new book by the poet Claudia Rankin called Citizen. And Citizen is this mixed media poetry, uh, prose, uh, art, photography, text that was a National Book Award finalist. There's the book. Um, and in it, she addresses the status of the citizen um, and particularly the idea of the citizen through the question of race. And we're going to read that book together. And we're going to read some theoretical readings, some really groundbreaking work on gender, pieces by the historian Joan Scott, um, some theoretical work on race by Michael Omi and Howard Winant on racial formations. And we're going to decide as a class what the questions are that we want to investigate and explore over the course of the semester. So we're going to begin with poetry and we're going to find some questions um, and the students will work together and with me um, to identify a set of texts that they want to look at to answer those questions. In the very opening pages of Citizen, Claudia Rankin is musing. She's, she set up a scene for us where she's lying in bed and she's kind of musing, almost in like spoken word poetry. And um, she's remembering a moment and she says, cough. After it happened, I was at a loss for words. Haven't you said this yourself? Haven't you said this to a close friend who early in your friendship, when distracted, would call you by the name of her black housekeeper? You assumed the two, you two, were the only black people in her life. Eventually, she stopped doing this, though she never acknowledged her slippage, and you never called her on it. Why not? And yet, you don't forget. If this were a domestic tragedy, and it might well be, this would be your fatal flaw, your memory, vessel of your feelings. Do you feel hurt because it's the all the black people look the same moment, or because you are being confused with another after being so close to this other? This is an amazing moment where she reflects on being with a close friend who's confused her with her black domestic worker. And for me, it's incredibly rich as a historian. We could, as a class, decide we want to investigate the history of black women's labor and understand why the assumption is that if there's a black woman in your life, she might be a domestic worker. We could investigate the history of women and work more generally and understand how black women's labor is situated within broader patterns of women's work. We could ask a whole bunch of questions about women and race and domestic service and investigate some very critical historical moments like the 1930s and the infamous Bronx slave markets when African-American women would line up on the streets for daily domestic labor. We could look at the 1960s and the 1970s when a domestic workers movement unfolded and do black domestic workers and many other women of color organized together to form unions, to change laws, to ensure that household workers would be covered under the Fair Labor Standards Act and actually be eligible for Social Security and the minimum wage. So I think something like Claudia Rankin's Citizen is incredibly rich. And what I'm excited about <laughs> is sitting in a room, reading this book together with my students, uh, with all of you, and finding out what kinds of questions we can ask, the paths we can explore, um, and what we can try to understand about our past.